Hey, welcome back to my library. I'd like to introduce you to a new member of the library. This is Ichabod. <laughs> Say hi. Ooh. Today we'll be reading chapter 14 of James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl, illustrated by Nancy Eckholm Burkert. We're off, someone was shouting. We're off at last. James woke up with a jump and looked about him. The creatures were all out of their hammocks and moving excitedly around the room. Suddenly, the floor gave a great heave as though an earthquake were taking place. Here we go, shouted the old green grasshopper, hopping up and down with excitement. Hold on tight. What's happening? cried James, leaping out of his hammock. What's going on? The ladybug, who was obviously a kind and gentle creature, came over and stood beside him. In case you don't know it, she said, we are about to depart forever from the top of this ghastly hill that we've all been living on for so long. We are about to roll away inside this great, big, beautiful peach to a land of, 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 to a land of, of what? Asked James. Never you mind, said the ladybug, but nothing could be worse than this desolate hilltop and those two repulsive ants of yours. Hear, hear, they all shouted, hear, hear. You may not have noticed it, the ladybug went on, but the whole garden, even before it reaches the steep edge of the hill, happens to be on a steep slope. And therefore, the only thing that has been stopping this peach from rolling away right from the beginning is the thick stem attaching it to the tree. Break the stem and off we go. Watch it, cried Miss Spider as the room gave another violent lurch. Here we go. Not quite, not quite. At this moment, continued the ladybug, our centipede, who has a pair of jaws as sharp as razors, is up there on top of the peach, nibbling away at the stem. In fact, he must be nearly through it, as you can tell from the way we're lurching about. Would you like me to take you under my wing so that you won't fall over when we start rolling? Well, that's very kind of you said James, but I think I'll be all right. Just then, the centipede stuck his grinning face through a hole in the ceiling and shouted, I've done it, we're off. We're off, the others cried, we're off. The journey begins, shouted the centipede. And who knows where it will end, muttered the earthworm, if you have anything to do with it. It can only mean trouble. Nonsense, said the ladybug. We are now about to visit the most marvelous places and see the most wonderful things. Isn't that so, centipede? There is no knowing what we shall see, cried the centipede. We may see a creature with 49 heads who lives in the desolate snow, and whenever he catches a cold, which he dreads, he has 49 noses to blow. We may see the venomous pink spotted scrunch who can chew up a man in one bite. It likes to eat five of them roasted for lunch and 18 for its supper at night. We may see a dragon and nobody knows that we won't see a unicorn there. We may see a terrible monster with toes growing out of the tufts of its hair. We may see the sweet little bitty bright hen, so playful, so kind and well-bred, and such beautiful eggs. You just boil them and then they explode and they blow off your head. A new and a noceros, surely you'll see, and that enormous and norable gnat, whose sting when it stings you goes in at the knee and comes out through the top of your hat. We may even get lost and be frozen by frost. We may die in an earthquake or tremor, or nastier still, we may even be tossed on the horns of a furious dilemma. But who cares? Let us go from this horrible hill. Let us roll, let us bowl, let us plunge. 
let us go rolling and bowling and spinning until we're away from old Spiker and Sponge. One second later, slowly, insidiously, oh most gently, the great peach started to lean forward and steal into motion. The whole room began to tilt over and all the furniture went sliding across the floor and crashed against the far wall. So did James and the ladybug and the old green grasshopper and Miss Spider and the earthworm, also the centipede who had just come slithering quickly down the wall. And that's the end of chapter 14. Where do you think the peach is going to go first? Where would you go first on an adventure? Make sure you like and subscribe so you're here for the next chapter. See you soon.